Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tyro here, coming at you with a tutorial. Uh, basically, what I'm going to be doing right now is I'll be showing you a couple of uh, things you can do with the Roxio editing software, Roxio Video Wave. I'm going to be giving you <coughs> a couple tips and uh, showing you what exactly you can do with this program. So basically, you're going to open your Roxio and you're going to hit Edit and Share. might take a while <laughs> doesn't want to open <laughs> what is it doing? <clears throat> sometimes it's uh... gay like this <laughs> it won't open up oh, here it goes and it's gonna open, it's gonna say loading and it will open up this. So basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select widescreen if this is going to be going on YouTube because that's like the default YouTube size and so select widescreen hit OK <clears throat> and then you're going to uh, import uh, any kind of video or whatever video you want to edit pick which video um, I'll just take something random Okay, I guess we'll just take this. <clears throat> Anyways, it's Modern for 3 clip and just something that we can work on. Anyways, um, so there's a few things that you can do with this program. I like it because it's pretty simple. So right here, you can add text. So you're going to hit it and it's going to open this. And then you just type in whatever you want. And then you can select it and change the font and the size and whatever whatever you want um... let's just delete that uh... you can add in music by going to add background audio and it'll bring up your music and you can select uh... whatever kind of music you want in the background so let's just take we'll take grizzly put it on music track and there it is. Then you can change the clip audio. So instead of it being bold with the background audio, you can select it and turn down the audio and turn up the music and try it. See now there's no game audio. Um, you can also add a photo or a video as overlay so you could select we'll take that and select this overlay and just put it in wherever you want and then you can select it and you can select how long you want it to be in so we'll put it like here and then you can also change the motion and make it fade in so it'll be like um another thing you can do is you can add overlay so you could add something I don't really use this that much but you can kind of add <coughs> um some overlay this is like the only one I kind of use ever so you can just like enlarge it but pretty hard to get the right size but we'll try like that so then it'll be you can make a fade in but that might look bad and it'll fade out in the end and you can add many they have many effects on here like look how many effects they have so you can add any of that. Uh, one that I use a lot is camera flashes. Um, there it is. And basically, what's that going to do? What that is going to do is make it blink like that. That's pretty cool. Um, you can also add transitions in between videos. So 
So if you have another clip in here, you can put a transition in between the two and it will be, uh, there's many transitions to choose from. So it's like, there's like a bunch like this. They have like blowing sand and stuff. Um, another thing, well, there's a few more things you can do. Uh, there's also these features. They have storyline, timeline, and uh, <clears throat> internal tracks. But me, I, I typically use timeline just because you have all of your stuff just right here and it's easier to work with. Um, yeah, so that's that. And hmm, what else is there? Oh, and if you want to trim a clip, you can select it. Hit the little scissors button. And you can drag it to make it shorter if you want to. That was this whistle, yes. Uh, um, another thing you can do is you can split it, but I won't let you split it if the things will be too short. Like, see, I just split it into two pieces. So now I have two pieces that I can work with. So this one I can put like a video effect on, and it wouldn't be on the other one. So it would just be like. Um, another thing you can do is to add commentary, you can just hit add narration, and it should bring up like this, and as you can see I'm talking hello hello hello, and so it'll just be like, it'll just count down for you, hey guys what's going on, and then <clears throat> you can just select it and play it, and you can hear me but the music is pretty loud, um, uh, two, wait, I should show you something else. Um, color corrections, what I usually use for Call of Duty is, like, I take the brightness down to one up here and one up on contrast. It gives you a nicer look to it. Um, that's basically all you have to know about this program. Uh, I'll show you the exporting, uh, stuff, <laughs> so you can just save save your stuff. Actually, I don't want to save it. So you could just hit that, and then it'll ask you if you want to save it, but I don't want to save it. And then, what I use is DivX HD 720p at 60 feet per second. You can use this one, or 1080p at 30 feet per second. Those are the two ones that I use. I don't use the middle one, because it's kind of slower. I just use these two. And then you hit Create Video File. So that's the basics of this program. Don't forget to rate, favorite, and comment. Hit the left annotation on the screen to go to the previous video, one on the right to go to a random one, and hit that big subscribe button. Love you guys.